Hello everybody, it's Paul King once again. Now today I'm going to tell you the story of LJD352, which was my 1957 Series 1 F model Vauxhall Victor Super. Now, one thing you don't want to do is buy a car at night, on a farm, and in the pouring rain, which is exactly what I did. LJD352 was first registered on the 17th of July 1957 and I bought the car on or around the 12th of July 1982. Unfortunately I have no pictures of the car when I, when I bought it um, but one thing you can see is she was in laurel green. So the first thing I did was got the car sandblasted and immediately painted it in red oxide to stop any rusting and on this picture you can see that the front near side wing has already been replaced with a new one. So here's the front offside inner wing in amazingly good condition. I mean look at the bolt holes along the top edge and the front edge. Absolutely no rust in there whatsoever. Unfortunately I can't say the same for the top hinge pillar. You can see a new bracket's been welded. If you look underneath the bottom hinge pillar you can see nothing. And the reason you couldn't see anything is because there wasn't anything to see chassis wise past the um, front hinge pillar. You can see three little rust holes there and that's where the chassis ended. From those rust holes to the left is the re remade inner seal that I created. But it is such a long piece of metal that I had to do it in two sections. So this is the front section and it's already been welded in. Well, we can see the rust pretty clearly here, can't we? Uh, this is obviously from the back of the car. You can see that remade um, 90 degree bracket that I've welded in. Uh, the inner wheel arch had all gone as well. Uh, the outer arch, you can see, <laughs> there's not much of that left either. But notice that um, I've left the doors on the car. And in the XOT video, I said never take the doors off. Well, the reason I left them on there was also for strengthening. Just a rear end shot showing you the uh, the red oxide and the odd bit of bare metal that uh, by the looks of it I've missed. <laughs> Sorry for the poor quality of this picture although I've enhanced it a bit in Photoshop but if you look at the top right hand corner you can see where the front uh, spring hanger is and all the rot that was around it but uh, that was all cut out anyway and replaced with good metal. Well I don't know why I didn't take more pictures of the restoration but doesn't really matter now does it because this is the end product I think looking pretty good once again only genuine panels were fitted to the car so that was the both front wings both outer seals um, the offside inner seal which I said before I made myself because they are rarer than the proverbial rock and horse poo um, yeah yeah quite pleased with that uh, and also the the panels look like they line up <laughs> huh. well I said the panels lined up mm, not too great on this side were they I couldn't not get that uh, driver's door up enough um, by the latch so that one yeah has dropped don't know why and the back door maybe I got the seal just a bit too high oh well <laughs> once you've done it you can't really well change it can you well at least this one's got a square number plate unlike Humphrey um, but a bit low I should have raised it a bit but anyway now look at the bottom right hand corner bumper it doesn't look very clean does it because that's got the exhaust through it the early 57s had the exhaust through the bumper which made probably made them uh, quite famous the only British car to have a, a hole in the bumper with the exhaust that was all genuine that whole exhaust system was genuine Vauxhall and it fitted like a glove so this picture was taken just after the restoration uh, it was at Bristol Classic Car Show Ron Ruggins 50, 1565 VF uh, after his restoration absolutely superb job with the genuine fog lights and sun visor one thing to bear in mind though that sun visor was really for the series ones it wasn't a series two option although people used to cut the brackets to make them fit still looked good though well, this picture is not one of mine. I got it off the internet. I uh, don't know who the owner was um, at the time. Um, they've put different tyres on it. 
but you'll notice the uh, front bumper has got the bumper buffers. I did find those eventually and uh, fitted them, so they are the genuine item. Uh, she still looks good, but uh, I just don't know when it was taken. I found this picture on the internet this morning, funny enough, and um, this is dated 2012. So it looks like someone has uh, attempted to straighten that uh, driver's door and lift it, and uh, they've succeeded. Quite pleased with that. That's a very nice picture of LJD352 now, and you notice the colour changed to, to uh, gypsy red, and presumably those nice people there are the uh, current owners. I like this shot because you can see the uh, headlamp rims, and they're flat, they're not peaked, as in the 58 to 61 series one and series two models um the pre-production ones are actually in chrome but uh, i think they made it a little bit too glary because there was so much chrome on the front anyway it looks like a nice paint job as well well i have to say series ones are adorned with chrome and this is a perfect example well there you have it it was only a very short video this one as i promised However, there will be a third one, and that will be dealing with the accessories that uh, Vauxhall offered for the F-Victor. See you again. Bye.